is it technical? And it needs elevation. Does it have fast running sections? Today, we're going to see if this place has everything you need to train for an ultra. So I'm at Crowder's Mountain State Park. It all depends on what type of ultra you're going to be doing. I fully understand that. So I'll be starting here on the Linwood Road access. I'll be doing the backside trail, rock top trail, crossing the road, passing the uh, Sparrow Springs access point, which a lot of people, when they search Crowder's Mountain, it actually takes them there, down the Pinnacle Trail and going to Pinnacle, which is the top. And then I'll be running back to where I'm at now. And the search today is to see if this place has everything you need to train for an ultra. Today it's a comfy 36 and raining. Should be a good time. So the first part, I'll be taking the backside trail instead of the tower trail. Backside trail, uh, 0.8, 800 feet of climbing. Tower trail, 1.8, 800 feet of climbing. We're doing the backside trail. So very quickly, with like less than a tenth into the trail, I think you can check off elevation as being one of the things that you need when training for an ultra. So if you're gonna start by doing the backside trail, I highly recommend a warm up. This trail hits pitch so quick that a lot of people will fatigue just because they've not warmed up properly. Maybe they don't know what they're getting themselves into. That first section pitch is pretty hard and it definitely will get your heart elevated and get those calves and your legs burning super quick. So easy way to compensate that, just run the parking lot a few laps. Uh, forget your phone and have to go back to the car and get it when you're halfway up. Yeah, that was me. So we're gonna get back after it. We're still on the backside trail, but this is what it's about. Steps to what is an amazing view, but there's a lot of steps. If you know how many steps are lead up on the backside trail at Crowder's from the Linville access side, put it in the comments. Whoever puts the first correct number gets stickers. Oh, uh, well, there's normally a beautiful view, but still pretty, still pretty. So we made it up the backside trail. Today's gonna be interesting because everything is wet. It's probably a little slicker than usual. I love it because it definitely takes a level of concentration for accurate foot placement, because you could twist an ankle pretty quickly up here. There's the radio towers. We're at the summit tower. Came in from this way, coming up. It has you going this way around, which is this route, which is honestly the correct route. I'm gonna go this way. It's slightly more aggressive. Got rocks. Definitely have to be sure footing. We're leaving Tower Trail and going to Rock Top. Super technical and as fast as you want to run it, as technical as it can be. So here's a tip. Crowders will teach you to get your toes up. When you're running ultras, when you start fatiguing, your toes will drop. It'll be the fastest way to fall and get injured. And Crowders will keep you honest about that. If you just come out here to just pay attention to getting your toes up, it's training that is like priceless. Especially once you get fatigued and you really have to focus on keeping those knees and those toes up so you don't get caught on roots and rocks. Crowders is a good place to train for that. Favorite section 
of Crowders. So why is this my favorite part? Well, I got invited to come run Crowders with a friend, Jonathan Fariati. We were doing this route that I'm doing at this moment. And he was like, hey, I'll meet you at the bottom. I did everything I could to stay with him. And I couldn't. The dude was gone in one of the steepest sections and most technical sections of this area. I learned to love the downhills. I learned to love the technical, having to pay attention and put your eyes on every footstep. You look where you want to step. That's the goal. If you look where you don't want to step, you will go there. So another tip, put your eyes on where you want to step. This is the section that he ran down and freaking went as fast as he could. So with it being slick, I definitely will take a little more precaution. <laughs> oh, I stepped on that log. That was a terrible idea. Terrible idea. So at the beginning of this video, I said we're going to see if this trail has everything you need to train for an ultra. If it needs elevation, check. Is it technical? Check. Does it have fast running sections? Check. That's where I'm at right now. If you have your legs underneath you, you can definitely put in a good pace through here. Good click. Trails are open, clear. This trail up until this point has everything we're looking for to train for an ultra. So you come to this part about three and a half miles in from the Linville side. It tells you that Crowders is that way and that's the way we came. We're going to Pinnacle. It's a slow, gradual grade. It's definitely got a little pitch to it but it's just enough you can run it so the rain has picked up a little bit glad i got my rain jacket on i generate a ton of heat but oh you got the ridgeline trailhead right here and it says we're here fern trail pinnacle trail which is where we came from we're very close to the top just keep trekking The team out at Crowders has put in a massive effort getting the entrance to Top of Pinnacle nice and tidy. Really is a good build up for what you're about to see or today, unfortunately, probably not see. And that's Pinnacle. I'm gonna grab a quick snack, go in these trees to get out from the wind. The goal of this video was to see if Crowders to Pinnacle had uh, everything you needed to train for an ultra. And there's one thing that I left off the list that I had to learn the hard way. And I learned it when I did the Uari 100K, it's downhills. I don't think anyone ever told me to train for downhills. Like, how do you have to train for downhills, right? Like, just go downhill. Well, no. My first lap of Uari, which is 20 mile loops, I plan to do them in about six hours. Well, I did it in under five hours because of running the downhills. And what I didn't take into consideration was blowing out my thighs. Like for the next 40 miles, I cried anytime I had to go downhill because it was so painful. There is a method to running downhills. And the only way you can do it is to learn it. Does Crowders have it? Pinnacle definitely has it. Crowders definitely has it. And now it's time to go back. Yep, so now we go this way. Crossing back over, hitting the Linwood side again, leaving the Pinnacle side. Okay. 
So one of the good things about Crowder's is it's an out and back. So that means the section that you run down, you go back up. So you probably see all these super technical sections and you're like, I couldn't come out here and run Crowder's. Know that there is bypasses around every crazy technical section. So you don't have to do all the stuff that I'm talking about in this video, but you also can. Well, radio tower, uh, my camera died. So I'm almost done. Figured I'd doc the, document the rest of it with the iPhone. But hey, don't forget, I put it in the beginning of the video, but how many steps is down the backside? I counted every one of them coming down, which my gosh, after 10 miles being super cold, it's hard to count and move down those steps. For my take on Crowder's, it has everything you need. I am frozen and it's been a good run, but I hope this audio is not too bad. The wind's blowing pretty bad. Till the next video, adios.